In this problem, we have to find the angle between the vectors u and v. So technically, there should be arrows here, so sometimes I forget to write that. Um, you can also have the vectors in bold. However, it's hard to tell if they're bold or not when everything looks the same. Okay, so the formula we're using is the cosine of theta is equal to u dot v over, and then on the bottom part we have the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. And here again I'm purposely omitting the arrows just because the notation becomes a little bit cumbersome. So first let's go ahead and work out the dot product of these two vectors. Now before we do that it might be a good idea to express our vectors in what's called component form. So u can be written as 9 that comes from the coefficient here of the i hat and then 5 that comes from here and then there's really an invisible 1 in front of the k hat. Here you can think of this as plus 0 k hat. Okay. <laughs> so this is 5, negative 9, and 0. Okay, let's take the dot product of these two vectors. So u dot v and this is equal to so to find the dot product, uh, you multiply the corresponding components. So we would do 9 times 5 plus, and then 5 times negative 9 plus, oh, this is convenient, and then 1 times 0. This is really nice uh, because something beautiful is going to happen. I did not expect this. Uh, this is 45 minus 45. This is wonderful. This is going to save us so much time. Plus zero. So this is just zero. So we have this beautiful scenario where u dot v is actually equal to zero. That means that the vectors are orthogonal. That, that means that the angle should be 90 degrees. So we're done. <laughs> so this means that u is orthogonal to v. And again, I'm being abusive here. I'm not writing the arrows. Maybe I should, I should do that just to be concrete. So theta in radians would be pi over 2 and theta in degrees would be 90 degrees. So those would be the answers to the question if you wanted both radians and degrees. However, you could continue to show the work. Like let's suppose that you got here and for some reason you didn't remember that they were orthogonal. If you plug everything into the formula up here well, u dot v is 0, so this whole thing becomes 0. So then you're in the situation where the cosine of theta is equal to 0. Well, that means that theta is pi over 2. Right? Think about the unit circle. On the unit circle, this is pi over 2. And this ordered pair here is 0, comma 1. And remember, every point on the unit circle can be thought of as an ordered pair of the form cosine theta, sine theta. So at pi over 2, the x-coordinate is 0. So the cosine of pi over 2 is equal to 0. So I hope this video has been helpful.